So I'm uh, west of Vance, I think that's how you pronounce it, in Norway. And uh, this is the Marka Skite bunker or fort, um, part of the Atlantic Wall that the Germans created. The Germans took over Norway and Denmark in 1940 and uh, occupied it until the end of the war. So they built these bunkers all over the place. This particular bunker, there's actually 90 of them that were found in this area. This is all farmland. Originally, this is where the Germans had an airport and they had a training ground, they had a training field. And I, th I believe in only in 2016 where it was this actually open to the public. Uh, they had to do extensive cleanups. It was polluted, it was full of uh, grenades, bombs that they found in the ground. So they had to dig all that up and clean it up and make it accessible for uh, people like me and you. This was just opened recently in the last, I don't know, six or seven years to the public. I believe the Norwegian army had to come in here and spend a ton of time and money cleaning this whole area out. This was a massive, massive base, I guess you could call it for the Germans. There was a big airport here, so these were coastal defense. So now that this has been cleaned up and open to the public, they've done things like put uh, plastic in here so you can be in there and it's not super windy because it's a very windy area. There's a new floor then in there. These places were really falling apart, but I can take you inside and a lot of these were found you know this one obviously this is by far the biggest one but a lot of those bunkers and tunnels they were just they were underground look at that 1975 whoa Jeez, it goes all the way down there. <sighs> Oof, it gets cold down here. It goes down again. Weird that they put a newer door right here. I don't know what that was for. So this, uh, I think this was really off limits to the public officially uh, until something like 2016 or 17. So. It's relatively new, uh, so a lot of people have not seen this, possibly. Ugh, that door is totally stuck. But look at this thing, man. This is like, imagine having that in your house, front door. Man. You'll probably hear me say this a bunch throughout these videos. But imagine being here in the 1940s or even just after the war. I mean, it was taken over, I believe, in 1945 by the Norwegian army. But at some point it was left, left behind. So I noticed as we're walking around outside that there's another 
pillbox looking part to this that there's no entrance from inside except for right here. So that's the solution. There you go. Here, I'll take you inside. This is the main area, I believe, based on some of the research. Again, this has been cleaned up and made safe for people to come in here so they can actually lock it up when they want to and help try to preserve it. The floor still smells like fresh paint, or the whole room does. That's where six 15 centimeter cannons were placed all along here. This is called, this exact area is called the Marka Shooting and Training Field, and is located south of the airfield, which is still used today, but was built by the German army. What remains in this area are these coastal artillery batteries established under the artillery group Vance in 1942, equipped with six 15 centimeter cannons. The area also contains a large German command bunker, which is this one, and 24 bunkers, as well as gun emplacements with cover, trenches, and many more bits of uh, history here, remnants. This is some of the bunkers and fortifications and whatnot that's right in the area here. Look at these stairs go up. Goes into this viewing room. Weird. You can tell that this was all completely unearthed. This had been buried by whoever, and it was probably just farmland. Wow. And not that long ago. Yeah, if I see a cow down here, going to be good for the video, but kind of freaky. What is that? Oh, they're peanuts. man and it just goes on and on and on crazy I mean clearly you can see where they've dug things up possible mines or unexploded artillery grenades this these were practicing fields as well as uh, air defense so Certainly there would have been unexploded material. So it looks like they did a lot of digging around just to try to make it safe. And as I'm walking up, look at this. It's just random stairs. You would never know that something was here. Whoa. Where's that go? Oh, some graffiti. Skull and crossbones. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this was repaired or if this wood is just that well preserved. It's, it's hard to say. Because why would they do this? If this isn't even, by the way, this isn't even advertised as anything. The only thing that's on the map is that huge 
bunker. You can find that on Google Maps. All this stuff, I had no idea was here until about half an hour ago. Covered by dirt. So if you were, you know, British military, I don't know that you would have even seen any of this stuff. It's just crazy to see this stuff. The cows come in here. <laughs> There's literally cow patties on the floor. They have some exploring cows. Eight, 18844. So this may have been patched in 1944. And then that person, H. H. Hars, H. Cass, H. K. I don't know. Wow, where is that person now? That is nuts. So I know that they cleared this whole area of uh, possibly unexploded artillery and maybe grenades, landmines, anything like that had to be cleared by the Norwegian army. But I gotta tell you, I'm still finding landmines out here. I mean, you definitely don't wanna step on any of these. 